Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, everybody! Look, it's not a live stream! It's a Super Sonic 1014 Plays video. Oh, I bet you missed one of these, didn't ya? Ah, uh, no, I doubt it. I bet y'all, y'all been all into your, uh, your everything wrong with, your, uh, everything else that goes on in this channel, uh, I know how it is. Uh, so I bet you're wondering, where's Sonic Heroes? Where's anything? Where have you been, you fucking idiot? Well, some reason this computer can't livestream, I don't know why. I've tried reinstalling drivers, I've tried reinstall- I don't have an internet card on this thing, so I've had to use my Wi-Fi extender. I've tried resetting the Wi-Fi extender. I have absolutely no goddamn idea why this shit doesn't want to work right. But hey, I don't have inter- I, I do have internet, but I don't have the capability to livestream very smoothly. So this will be pretty much the only way you guys can digest video game content from me. So I'm starting with Sonic 1. Why am I playing Sonic 1? Because it's easy. It's an easy game to start commentary with because I haven't really played a game like this or done like one of these Super Sonic 1014 plays things in a while. So I wanted to try to start with something easy to get myself back into the swing of things. And who knows? I like Sonic a lot. Maybe I'll be able to do more all the Sonic game. Probably not all the Sonic games, but like. Uh, maybe some of them. I mean, it all depends on what I want to play next, really. And also, I was just kind of in a classic Sonic mood. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> Again, don't really know how to do commentary. And it's especially worse. Because did you guys know? No, you didn't. Because this is literally the first time you're hearing this. I had a failed recording because my dumb ass didn't hit the... Well, because my dumb ass didn't hit the start recording button on OBS. Wow, guys, I sure am smart. Ha ha ha. Let me get 100 rings real quick, because I'm probably going to need all the rings I can get for the upcoming levels, because me in this game, in the later levels, yeah, we don't really get along, so... Okay, well, there, I don't think I can get any more rings, honestly. I think that's all I can really get. Unless there's stuff down here I can try. Okay, yeah. Is there going to be four more, though? Part of me doubts it. Oh, right, here we go. Excellent. So anyway, I did, I, before the fail recording, I tried to do a test recording of this just to see how things look. It looks really good, although the first test recording that I did, for some reason there was like this really bad motion blur. And I figured it out and hopefully I fixed it, so let's hope that's the... Ah, fuck. Let's hope that's the only issue we really have with recording, so I'm not gonna get the Chaos Emeralds here. Let's hope that's the only issue I have with recording things. Uh, but a caveat to the solution I came up with is that the video is probably gonna look a little darker than it normally would. I don't know, that's just a thing OBS does. I think it has something to do with the frame rate I chose being some kind of weird PAL frame rate. At the very least, that's what Sony Vegas said. Actually, no, I don't think it's a Sony... Actually, I don't think it's a OBS thing. I think it's a Sony Vegas thing, honestly. And, uh, right now, I sound really quiet in OBS. I'm gonna try to fix that when it comes to getting into the video editing process. We're gonna see how things go. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. I really want this extra life, but I don't know how to get it. I think I need to get a lot of speed and just jump it. Even though I don't... Nah, never mind. I don't think I can make it. Nah, not quite. Whatever, it's fine. But, yeah, Sonic 1. This is actually... Believe it or not, despite my, uh... How young I am, how absolutely not an old fuck I am... Uh, Sonic 1 was actually one of the first Sonic games I, ne I haven't played, not the first one I've ever played, but one of the first one that I, ones that I've ever, that I, like, saw, like, the cartridge for. Because, you see, my parents, they had a Sega Genesis lying around. I, ne I never really knew what it was until much, much later when I first saw it. But, pretty much, they just had this game cartridge for Sonic 1 just kind of lying around. And I saw it, of course I could never play it, because they didn't show me exactly what a Sega Genesis was, until again, much later on. But, yeah, saw the cartridge, didn't see the game, just saw the cartridge. I didn't know what a Sonic was back then, so I just saw this weird fucking creature with spikes and really weird, almost 
smug eyes, and I'm like, Mom, what's this? And I don't think she even remembered. It's been like for ah! God damn it. It's I think it's been forever since she's like played Sonic. The only video game stuff she remembers is Mario, and that's only because uh I want That's only because my brother like played a lot of Mario when he was younger. So yeah. First Sonic game I saw. I believe the first Sonic game. <laughs> Uh, the first, like, not weird educational Sonic game I ever played was Sonic and the Secret Rings, but I could be very wrong on that. Uh, the first, like, real, like, but actually educational Sonic game I played was this weird Sonic X game for, like, the Leapster LMAX. And I still actually own it, but my Leapster LMAX is long since broken because I think, like, Something went wrong with the batteries and the place where you put the batteries, so... I can't really, like, get it booting back up. And even if I wanted to, I think, uh... There's, like, this little wire thing that connects the stylus and the console. And because I was such a bright little kid back then, I thought it was a great idea to chew the shit out of that wire. And holy fuck, that shit just don't work. I mean, the stylus worked fine. I guess the wire was just some kind of, like, way to keep it tethered to the system so that little fucks like me wouldn't, like, lose it or something. But I, uh, me, me and my dumb creativity, I found a way to still break things. Uh, I was not very bright. <laughs> and I wish I hadn't done that, even though that probably wasn't one of the reasons why it doesn't work anymore. I still, f still feel bad that I did that. I still feel really bad. Cause it'd be a really nice way to... It'd be a real nice nostalgia trip. I could maybe record some videos for it. It'd be great. But... What do you know? I'm dumb. And I'm sure buying one now probably will cost me like hundreds of dollars. So, not even gonna... I might look it up later. I'll see. Maybe with my cool editing skills, I'll put up like a page for it that's from like Amazon or something. And it'll show you how much it costs. Future me, if you want to go ahead and do that, put more work on myself, go right ahead. But if not, there's gonna be nothing there, whatever, it's fine. Future me might be too lazy to do shit like that. We'll see. So all this time and I haven't been acknowledging the game. I'm such a good commentator, guys, aren't I? So, uh, yeah. Green Hill Zone, pretty good. I like it. Marble Zone, I like Marble Zone too. I don't really hate it. It's kind of slower paced, kind of more platforming focused. When I was younger, Marble Zone Act 3 was just the farthest I could go. Uh, I recall getting past Marble Zone once, but it was with one life and I died immediately after, so... Oops! Marble Zone Act 3 was just too hard for my small baby brain to handle. But I think I can do alright. I think my gamer skills have evolved enough to be able to handle the challenge ahead of me. How are you guys doing today? I know I'm jumping all over the goddamn place, but it's really because I don't have- Fuck! I really don't have much to talk about. Game-wise, just my life-wise, it's currently 9.30pm. 9.31, to be exact. Uh... I would have recorded this way sooner, but you know me, I'm stubborn. I wanted to try and fix my computer problems before I resorted to a different solution. But it didn't happen, so now here we are, doing this. And I hope this looks good, I'm gonna hope and pray. Cause I'm probably not gonna re-record this fucking goddammit, I'm probably not gonna re-record this. So, I hope it looks good, it probably does, I didn't change any settings or anything since I first tried this, so it should be okay. Oh, good old Sonic 1 and I've run- Oh yeah! Now, now I haven't run out of things to talk about yet. I haven't addressed this yet, I can't believe it. You're looking on- it's almost been 10 minutes, dude. How have I not addressed this yet? Uh, you might be looking at the screen and you might be noticing uh, some little yellow bars on the left-right side of the screen. Super Sonic, what the hell is this? Why'd you get mustard on my screen? Uh, have you guys learned I'm not funny yet? Uh, but yeah, I decided, hey, I'm gonna add some flair to these videos. You probably also noticed it with a cool-ass intro. Hope you guys like that, because I feel like it looks a lot better than the old one did. The only reason I made that other intro is because when I was transferring stuff from the old computer to the new computer, 
I kind of forgot the old intro file, so I didn't have it on hand, and Sony Vegas was yelling at me like, Hey, dickface, we don't have a video file. Put something here, dumbass. So I figured, eh, could be time to update it, make it look better. The only thing about that intro I kind of don't like and I might try to fix come next video. Probably not, though, because I was a dumbass and didn't save the template files, so I don't really have anything to use, but I still might try anyway. Is if you notice, okay, if you notice in the video, the SS 1014, like the head, the little like vector, excuse me, no vector, no outline style head, kind of looks a little big, at least from what I've noticed. So I might have to fix that come next video, but I might not. I might not even bother. Okay, I made it. I might not even really bother with it, because it might just be fine. Who knows? Yeah, this is going to be a very short series, because I'm already on the second zone out of six. Act two. And I'm only 11 minutes in. So I don't know if I should just make the video shorter, or if I should just keep it the length and just do another zone. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I guess I'll fucking piece of garbage. I guess I'll find out. I do not like these special stages at all. They don't control well. I feel like I'm never in control of these fucking things. I'm being tossed all over the place. See, there's no goddamn way. It's random to me. I, I've done it. And if you look on this channel back in the dark ages, you'll see that I did do the special stages on that Let's Play Sonic 1 playlist with no commentary and with like 480p video. You'll, I did do it. Oh, I did. Uh, cool story about that, actually. Uh, I had to use save states because there was no... Uh, even back then, I had no patience. There was no goddamn way in hell that I was about ready to subject myself to playing the same stages over and over again just to get the Chaos Emeralds. Nah, I cheated that bitch. I used save states, I abused them, and I have no shame. Back then and now, no shame. But yeah, let's talk about that old playthrough, shall we? Not like there's really much to talk about, but I mean... Woo! That was... Those were the days back then, huh? When it, what was I, like 13, 14 when I did that? And because I was very self-conscious about my voice, I still am, by the way. Uh, I, and also because I didn't have a decent microphone worth a damn. I just decided, fuck it. Who wants Let's Plays with commentary anyway? Let's just do it without commentary and it'll just be my pure gamer skills. You can see now why those videos have only like 30 views each. And I'm sure, oh shit. And I'm sure, I was about to show, I was about to glitch out there. And I'm sure the only reason it has that many views is because some of you motherfuckers were morbidly curious. And just wanted to see what I was doing back in the old days of whatever the fuck I was thinking. Why did I do this? Okay, good. Good to go. So yeah, if you look back, you'll see pain. You'll see misery. Uh, there was the- And I feel really bad. There was this one guy. I don't remember what his channel name was. But he- And I wish I had saved the video. I really wish I did. There was this one video that he made that I really, really, really loved about me. And it was like called The Evolution of Supersonic 1014. And it was basically this, uh... This big old compilation video of just, well, not big, more like five or six minutes. But it, like, documented how much I've changed and how much I've, what I've done over the years and what I've improved, the playthroughs I've done. Pretty much documenting what I was before everything wrong with Steven Universe got me the audience I did. And it was really interesting, too, because it was actually really comprehensive. Like, it went through all my playthroughs, got all, most of my playlists, some of my best moments, like that speedrun of the hot crater boss in Sonic Advance 2. I think that was in there. Yeah, thanks, dickhead. Surprise, motherfucker. That's why I don't really like the classic Sonic games that much, except compared to the modern ones. But anyway, it was just like... Like, damn. I feel like he put a lot of time into that. Like, I think he deleted his channel at one point, because I can't find it for the life of me anymore. I think the channel that was associated with it was deleted. 
Because I heard he... There was one time in like my live stream chat that I heard him say something about him deleting his channel. And I, I don't remember what the context was, but... Honestly, I feel kind of bad because that video was really high quality. And it was like kind of emotional in a sense too. Because I don't remember the exact music track that he used. But I remember at the end when it was like coming closer to everything wrong with Steven Universe. He used this like kind of emotional piano track of some kind and again i don't remember if it was piano or what it was but i remember it was just a really nice piece to end the entire thing off with and i don't know i just wish i could see that video again because i think that to be completely honest i think that's like the best piece of fan content someone's ever made for me i love that video and i kind of miss it and i don't and i feel bad that i don't remember who the guy was that made it but it's been probably a couple years now since I've seen it, so... Again, dude, if you're somehow watching this from, like, an alternate channel or whatever, or if your channel still exists and I'm just a dumbass and can't find it, please, like, re-upload the video, link it to me, like, on Twitter or something. I, I'd really love to see that shit again. I kind of miss it. It kind of, like, helps me realize that, hey... I've done a, I've done quite a bit of good with this channel, and a lot of people like it. And me evolving is kind of just really interesting to see, especially when it's like I'll go one more zone, especially when it's like comp a compilation like that video. It was great. It was a great watch. And if it is put up, I'll make sure to like share it on the community tab or something. I miss it. I miss it a lot. I guess we kind of got to that conversation piece because of Sonic 1. I think that was one of the things he showed. So, yeah. I hopefully- I don't- Fucking God. I don't want to, like, stay silent too much because... Well, that might be boring to you guys, but it might be a thing I have to do where... Oh my fucking God. Get those rings. Good... Lord... Yeah, I'm surprised I did what I just did there. Yep, this is a thing. Okay, ow, 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 so how are you guys? Again, how are- <sighs> See you guys, my misery can- can be- is funny sometimes. So I hope to god I don't get a game over, because if I get a game over, then that's... Woof, that's kind of bad. And I know I'm like, oh, I need all the lives I can get, and then when I see a life, it's like, Oh, it's fine. I don't, I don't need the lives, especially when bus bobbers are sniping me from out of nowhere, and there's no way I can see it coming. Fucking piece of shit asshole. Oh, bye. Okay, I guess there's no way to get back up on that. Cool. Uh, see guys, this is why I'm not a huge fan of the classic Sonic games. Because it's called move right and then get fucked in the ass because you can't see what's coming. Every single game, even Sonic Mania does it. Yep guys, that's right. Even Sonic Mania does it. And I, don't get me wrong. I like Sonic Mania and all, but that shit still pisses me off. I've never actually been up here before, what's up? Oh shit, what's up? What's going on up here? How have I not known this existed? How have I not known this existed? I must have really, like, not wanted anything to do with that platform. Because I swear to you, I, do, I, I have never been up in this top path. I have, this, this is brand new to me on cool this is brand cpu wait why is cpu up here hello okay oh no okay now we're fine i swear to you this is completely brand new dude i've never been up here i've never thought to explore this place holy fuck yeah go away uh, are we safe okay yeah we're back to the normal level now that was a nice little detour Oh god, I hate this. Don't worry, I got this. Look at that. 
I could be good at video games sometimes. But now is not one of those times. Now I ramble because I don't know what to talk about. I guess thoughts on Sonic 1 would be good for now. Uh, I know I... I know, again, I didn't play it until much later. So... Again, my thoughts weren't really concrete until I, uh... Played it for the first time when I was like... I think the first time I actually ever played Sonic 1... It was on the Genesis! I know that. It was on the original Genesis. I don't remember when. I think maybe I was like... I know it was before I got the GameCube, so maybe it was like seven, eight, I think. I know it was, I know it was after I got my DS because back before my DS, I didn't even know what video games really even were. So it was af it was after then, but it was before I got my GameCube. I got, and I didn't get my Wii until after the GameCube, I'm pretty sure. No, wait, no. No, I got my Wii before the GameCube. Well, then it had to have been before I got the Wii. Oh, I'm so confused. I know I got GameCube after Wii because I, Smash Brawl was the first Smash Brothers I got. And the only reason I got Smash Melee was because I recognized the name because of Brawl. So... I don't know, but I know I first played Sonic 1... Before I got the Wii, maybe. It was before that. And again, gaming skills weren't very mature. Uh, there was also Sonic 3, which I'll probably get into more after I play Sonic 3. Because I have a few interesting stories when it comes to Sonic 3. About how it was the first one in the family to actually beat Sonic 3. Yeah, it's cool. And it wasn't even Sonic 3 and Knuckles either. It was just like regular Sonic 3. Without the Knuckles cart. So yeah, that was something. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, once again, didn't get very far. I think it even took me a while to get past the first act in Marble. Because, you know, Green Hill was kind of easy. There wasn't really much getting in your way. Oh my god. <laughs> there wasn't even that much getting in your way in, in Green Hill Zone. So it was just, like, mostly a straight shot. But my mom would always, like, get kind of mad at me in the way I play games. Because, you know... I guess she's more along... She's more along the lines of... Hey, you should be getting the lives and things. They help you. Why are you just... Her thing is, because she saw me... This kind of stemmed because she saw me play Mario. And when I was Mario... Oh, I didn't care about anything, dude. I just wanted to get to the end of the level. So it kind of stemmed from the fact that she kind of didn't like the way I play Mario. I would just, like, not get very many of the coins. And I would just rush through. And she's just like... Dude, get the coins! Get the coins! <laughs> it's just kind of like... It's kind of like she she had some kind of OCD, and when she saw coins not getting collected, whoo! Oh! <laughs> and when she saw me play Sonic the way I was, she was like, Dude, you get the rings. Get the lives. And I'm like, Mom, the game is about going fast. Lay off. <laughs> That's the whole point of Sonic is to go fast. Come on, get with the program. Granted, I probably should have followed her advice, because if I did, I probably wouldn't have gotten stuck at Marble Zone as many times as I did. Like, wow, it was bad. It took me probably like a year to finally get past Marble Zone. And then I started getting through Marble Zone with like reasonable enough lines to live- A reasonable amount of lives, Jesus Christ, to get through the game. And all that only happened probably like two or three years later. So it took me a while to beat the game, but now it's just like I can pretty much do it without breaking a sweat and with save states because God God for because God knows I ain't playing this whole fucking game over again if I get a game over hell no We've moved beyond that point in our lives Exit paradigm gamers uh, Review kind of said it best because at this point save files are starting to become a thing in video games and this game was looking primitive by comparison because uh, excuse me, because we it was still using a continue system. And it's like, I don't really have the patience to play through an entire game again. Excuse me, if I, uh, mess up at this point, I kind of just want to move on to new games, you know? New experiences. This is also kind of a test of the video thing, just to see how it handles shit. I almost, almost there. Come on. I know there's something up there and I want it. You piece of shit. 
Little more, there we go. God damn it! Fuck. I will get up here. You forget how stubborn I am. If you think I'm not gonna get up here, you forget how stubborn I am, dude. Huh? Huh? Okay, one more. Huh? 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 Okay, never mind. I'm not stubborn enough for this. Oh, that was smooth, though. You, you gotta say, that jump in was pretty smooth the way I dodged that spike ball. That was pretty me pretty neato, if I do say so myself. Yeah, hell yeah, okay. Anyway, since I don't really know what to talk about, that's good! Because we're getting close to the end of the zone and I can recharge my batteries a little bit. Hope you guys are enjoying this. It's, uh... Okay, oh god, okay. I Again, it's been a while since I've done one of these... So, commentary again sucks, but hopefully, since I'll probably be doing these a little more often, since I can't really stream anymore, and I want to play a game, it's like, yeah, why, why not stream it, you know? And this kind of really sucks, too, because Pokemon Sword and Shield's gonna be coming out in, like, what's it, 10 days? And I'm not gonna be able to stream it? Oh, that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck. But hey, it'll probably be better recording it than streaming it, because... I don't know, I don't really feel like I can do a Pokemon game streaming, because I feel like you guys would get bored of it pretty quickly. Because it's a lot of the same things over and over again, and if I'm doing a video, I can, like... Like, cut shit out, things you guys don't want to see, keep it interesting, you know, all that. Plus, I can, like, pay close attention to the game and what's going on. It'll be like a blind playthrough, it'll be good. I know not... probably not many people will watch it, but... Whatever, I mean, not really important, I guess. Okay, is this really all that's up here? That's a little disappointing. You bitch! You motherfucker! Are you kidding me? Oh, that's all that's up here? Okay. Surprise, motherfucker! Pit of death and destruction! Do you guys see why I don't really like these this game, the, this classic Sonic games as much as modern Sonic? You know, bash things like Shadow the Hedgehog all you want. Bash let things like Sonic 06 all you want. At least in those games, you can fucking see where you're going most of the time. See, what the hell? You can see where you're going most of the time. Shit like this? Nah, dude. You're taking the trip to Assfuckville. Population, your asshole. Your asshole and the game's dick. Fuck. King God. Okay. It's great that they also give me speed shoes here, so I'm pretty much encouraged to go fast and then get fucked. Pretty much immediately after. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Checkpoint. There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. Now you guys know why I have save states. Because this shit... Ugh! Fuck! Or it could be a secret ploy me dying to get to the... Get up to 30 minutes. <laughs> nah, I don't do shit like that. If something's 30 minutes, something's 30 minutes. If something's 20 minutes, something's 20 minutes. Fucking God. Asshole. Get down here. Alright, get over here. Dickhead. It's my time now. Get out of here. Yeah, the bosses in this game are kind of easy. They don't really get harder until, like... Ooh, I'd say Sonic 3, because Sonic 2's bosses aren't much harder. But we'll get to Sonic 2 when we get to Sonic 2, because... Ooh, I have some choice words for that fucking game. Alright, Labyrinth Zone! Fuck you, we're doing that in part 2. <laughs> Oh, man, I got a hell of a video to do. It's gonna be easy because I don't have anything to cut out, so it's gonna be easy. I have a thing to add, but other than that, it'll be good to go. So, start of a series. We'll see how this goes. Uh, part two will probably be the last part of Sonic 1, but then I might just do Sonic, the other Sonic games. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, my mic seems a little quiet. I'll boost it up in editing. I'll see how it goes. Uh, but for right now, though, Hope you guys enjoy. It's been Super Sonic 1014. I will see you guys later. Bye.